Good evening, Titans. This is Mr. Simpson, and tonight we're going to begin Chapter 8. And in Chapter 8, we're going to be uh, graphing quadratic functions and graphing them in the form a times x squared. The essential question is, what are some of the characteristics of the graph of a quadratic function of the form f of x equals a times x squared? Here is the vocabulary. So if you open your student journal uh, to this page in Lesson 8.1, you can write down these vocabulary. Again, and we'll go through these uh, throughout this video. Um, again, the quadratic function is in the form y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. The parabola is the u shape. And again, we've done this a couple times. You've seen it on Desmos. It looks like that. The vertex will be this point right down here. And the axis of symmetry is this imaginary line that cuts the parabola right in half, where if you would fold it on that line of symmetry, the two halves would match up, which will help us when we're having to graph them. And also that the axis of symmetry passes through that vertex point. All right, first of all, a couple characteristics of quadratic function. Again, uh, it's a U-shaped graph. The lowest point of the graph is called the vertex. Now, parabolas can look like this, and so then the vertex would be up here, and they can open up like that one. Now, as the graph is going from left to right, this part is going down. The y values are decreasing as the x values increase. We call that a decreasing function. And then at the vertex, it changes and becomes an increasing function as x gets larger, meaning y gets larger. And again, that axis of symmetry is that line right down the center of the parabola. So if we're looking at this particular problem, we're asked to um, identify the characteristics of it. Well, first of all, we could identify the vertex. The vertex is this point right down here, okay? And that vertex is the point at negative 1, negative 2. And we could say that it opens up. Um, we could say that the line of symmetry happens at x equals a negative 1. Again, the line of symmetry will always be x equals the x value of your vertex. We could say that the domain are all real numbers, which for parabolas will be all real numbers. And then the range, which are the y values. Again, remember, the domain are the x values, the range are the y values. The y values only go from y is greater than or equal to a negative 2 because that's where the graph is going up, right? And then, again, it's a decreasing function from up until x equals a negative 1, and after x equals a negative 1, then it's an increasing function. So if we're identifying characteristics here in number 1, first of all, I'd identify the vertex. The vertex would occur at 2, negative 3. The line of symmetry would be at x equals 2. I'd say the domain is all reals. I'd say the range is y is greater than or equal to a negative 3. And it's a decreasing function up until x equals 2. And then it's an increasing function as x is greater than 2. Also, it opens up. Number two, my vertex, it appears, is at 2, comma, 7. So that means my line of symmetry would be at, oh, excuse me, that's negative 2, comma, 7. My line of symmetry would be at x equals a negative 2. And here, my domain, again, is all reals. And then my range would be the values of y is less than or equal to that y coordinate of my vertex. And then it opens down, which means it's actually an increasing function up until that value of x equals a negative 2. And then it's a decreasing function after that. 